Welcome back to Off The Deck Golf. This is uh, the next challenge that we've uh, decided to attempt. It's myself and, and Andrew. Um, in case you guys haven't met him yet, this is Andrew. He Hi is guys. also better, part of... Better half of Off The Deck Golf. Yeah, I wouldn't quite say that, but he is part of uh, the team, um, or the founding team here at Off The Deck Golf. Um, <laughs> maybe not the tallest. <laughs> Um, but today's challenge, what we're trying to do is we're just playing three holes here at Dovenville, back nine. Um, we're doing forward a little... Tees. We're going off the forward tees. Yeah, le not ladies, forward tees, but uh, we're doing a random number generator. So effectively, beginning of every hole, we Google gives us a, um, a random number and we've allocated from four iron down to sand wedge. So no woods, no three iron, no hybrid or no lob wedges because Andrew has an I don't so just to make it fair and Andrew also he is playing off a five handicap, five handicap. I'm off a scratch so for the three holes I've been generous and I've given him two shots um, yeah let's see who comes out on top <laughs> <Good judge. laughs> no chance Okay guys, so over here, this is the first hole of the day. We've got the um, number generator, random number generator here. So how we've set it is we've got the number four, which will be your four iron, and then it goes up to max, which is number 12. So effectively four to nine iron. Yeah. And then number 10 will be the pitching wedge, 11 gap wedge, and 12 will be the sandwich. So first hole of the day, let's see what we're gonna be playing with. So number eight. Yeah, that's 200. Yeah. Oh, he's absolutely smoked it. Okay, well, I kind of know what club I'm taking. <laughs> I guess I'm going to use an eight iron for 150. Hopefully it's the perfect club. Oh, go, get up there, oh, and he's on, what a shot, <laughs> Andrew's got probably about 25, 30 meters left, I'm guessing he's going to use an 8 iron, but uh, yeah, I don't know, is he going to go high, low, I think he's got the skills to get it somewhere up there, I don't know how close he's going to hit it though, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see his little his touch. No. Go baby, get there! Oh! Yo, that's unlucky. I wasn't expecting to make a pull in the first hole, but we'll take it. Can you do it? This for the half. Oh, what? What a putt! What a putt! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> Shot of the day. What was that? A five? Five, yeah. Cheapers out of nowhere. How? Okay, 
Okay, so we're on the 11th year, um, and the club that we are going to be generating on this hole is number five. It's a five iron. So thankfully, it's a par five. So we've got all the fives in this one. Let's see if Andrew can make another five and try and beat me because this is the, the hole that he gets a, a shot back. The forward tee box here at uh, Durbanville. The 11th hole is 372 meters from the forward tees. AP, heading to the middle of the fairway. Neil, we're going to drop off on the right hand side. I think he took the tree come back a bit. Yeah, yeah, um, I'm still in play. My advantage. Plus, I've got the stroke on this hole, so it's all to play for. Come on, AP. So it doesn't look like we've got much distance off the tee here. Yeah? We've still got over 200 to the flag, so this is going to be a layup. Get myself in a good spot. Yeah, can you really leave yourself with a? Can you really leave yourself a perfect distance with a well, 35 meter well, five iron? I can trip this one. <laughs> and have a five iron in. It's up to you. Course management. <laughs> Preferably before the sun goes down though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we thinned it. Oh, we've had the reversal. I went right off the tee. He's gone right to the second. But he's, oh, what a kick. What a kick, ladies and gentlemen. How on earth did he get that right? He must have paid somebody. We've probably got, by the looks of it, about 50 meters here, 45, 50 meters. I'm going to try and see if we can just bump this one and run it up there. Okay, come on, boys and girls. Oh, get, get lucky. Come on, baby! Yes! Beat that! <laughs> Are you feeling now, AP? Are you a bit nervous, mate? <laughs> yeah, he's literally standing here. He's got bunker literally between him and the flag. Balls above his feet, at the rough. Five iron. I mean, if you could pick three things not to have, all three of them he's got. Oh, get over. Oh, that is going to be fun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, course management. Can he be with Andrew right now? That, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think golf is uh, is a game of luck. <laughs> well done. <laughs> How he's got that for a par, I have no idea, but uh, he does nonetheless. I got that for a birdie. So effectively, with his extra stroke on this hole, we're both putting for the same. Stroke same, the same points. Stroke one. Stroke one. He's very lucky. Oh, oh that's it. <laughs> they call that the early walk, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'll take it away. <laughs> Let's make the rules up as we go. To suit me. Oh, you the top of it. I, I didn't even hit that. Okay, this is not, this is not a gimme. Oh, it's too easy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Still one down, one down, one up, one to play. It's a par three to go. Random number generator. I'm really hoping we don't get a four iron. I'll take anything on that hole. I'll take anything between six iron and a nine iron. If not, uh, we could both be in trouble. So this is the 12th hole, it's par three. And it's probably one of the most beautiful holes on the golf course. 
Um, it is what? 100 and? 116 meters. 116. The forward tee. 116 meters. So we're going to have for a 15 wedge, but we're going to get a? Gap wedge. Gap wedge. Yeah, so. Just have to step on it. Yeah. Slightly. Cool. Well, I mean, that could work. This is a back flag. 116 meters. Wind a little bit from behind. You don't want to hit this off the hosel because this large water area surface place is just hungry for golf balls. Noise! Oh, thinned it possibly. That is unbelievable. Thin to one, ladies and gentlemen. Thin to one. <laughs> and activate his calves enough to get this closer than me. Oh, he's, he's thin, that one. Don't hit the cameraman. Please don't hit the cameraman. Okay, too long. Let's have a look here. He has nothing. He has, okay. So, effectively, he's got an uphill lie. He's got a small window of opportunity. He's got mud all over his golf ball. Can he put it somewhere on the green? Yes, great contact. What a shot. Sit up, sit. Yeah, shot. Do you think he can sink this? Does he have what it takes. Come on, turn baby! Woo. Well, he hasn't hit it dead. Obviously, a lot longer, but let's see. Come on. Confident. Oh! Come on! It's fine. This is good. Take that one for the... Is this for the victory? Oh, yes, come on! Oh. Oh, that looked good in the air. It's fine, you can have that. Thanks, big guy. Yep. First of many. I didn't say victories for me, defeats for you. <laughs> okay, so that was, uh, wasn't too bad. I mean, I beat him by two shots, gave him two. So, yeah, I mean, I'll take it. Another little victory for the week. Let's see what, uh, what the next challenge holds. Stick around, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.